What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about legends in Revit. So legends are one of those things that are really important for project files but they don't get talked about that much because it's not a fancy rendering so people don't consider them that often but I think it's an important topic and I wanted to create a tutorial that covers that. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using this project file, as you can see over here. This is a house that I did for a school a bit back on a Revit course. And this is the, the house that I'm going to be using. And if you want to see uh, a few more tutorials that I've done on this house, I'm going to be leaving links to those in the description of this video. And also, if you want to download this project files, I suggest you check out my Patreon. First, a link in the description. I've got some all of my project files over there and some advanced courses if you're interested in that. Okay, and also before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like and share this video. Uh, it helps me out a lot. And if you want to subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials each week. Okay, now let's get into legend views in Revit. So to create a new legend view, you can either go here to views and then find legends, and then you can create a legend view, or you can go down to your project browser, scroll down until you find your legends. So legends will be, uh, of course, over here in your project browser, and just right click on legends and create a new legend. So you can use both approaches. I'm just going to hit here, new legend and it allows you to name the legend. So let's call this a window legend because that's what we're going to be creating for this tutorial. But you can create legends for pretty much anything. Any family, either a system family or a regular family in Revit, you can create a legend for. Now here you're placing a scale. Don't worry, you can change this later on, but let's just leave it to one, uh, at 1 to 150. Okay, now I'm just going to hit OK and we've got our legend view and it's empty and boring. So currently we don't really have anything loaded in our legend view. And legend views are pretty simple. You, if you go to the architecture tab, you're going to notice that you really can't place any of the regular elements. But what you can do is you can place annotation elements. So you can place detail lines, you can place text, you can place dimensions, and most importantly, you can place detail components. Now, if I open up the drop menu over here, you're going to notice that we have a detail component, a repeating detail component, and what we need for this, and that's a legend component. So if you see, if you, if you can see here, legend component, that's actually what we're going to be using for the legend. Now, what I like to do is just place one to determine uh, just how large it will be on screen. And then the whole table, I'm going to draw out of detail lines and text. But first, just to get some notion of scale, I'm going to go here to legend component and just place it here on screen. Now you're going to notice that legend component is just a little green X sign and don't worry, it's not going to stay like that. You can select it and now you can edit it. So here, as you can see, we've got our modify tab and on the modify tab, here we choose a family, here we choose the view and also the uh, host length, but that's uh, not important that much. So first, let's just choose a family. This being a window legend, we're going to be looking at, well, you guessed it, windows. So <laughs> let's go down to windows. And here we have a bunch of windows that I have used for this project. So let's see what which one of these can we use. So for the this project, I used mostly these PVC windows that I, I, I either I modeled or I just modified the existing ones, can't remember at this point. But I'm just going to, well, let me see which one is the biggest because that's going to determine the size of our legend. So what I'm going to do is just switch back to my floor plan, level one floor plan, grab one of these big windows and it's called PVC3 or 3 PVC. So that's the, the one of the largest ones. So now I can go back to my legend view, go over here and just find that window. So scroll down all the way down to Windows, uh, 3 PVC, and there we go. So it looks kind of like this. And now currently it's in floor plan, but let's go to front elevation. So there you go. That's how you set your uh, that's how you set your elevation. So like this. And if we go to floor plan, it looks like this. Now here this host length. Now this is important. As you can see, that's the wall on which this is hosted. So uh, you should probably increase it because as you can see, the wall is only here. So let's see what's the size of the window. 
so it's like 270 so for the host length we can go like 300 and as you can see it looks a bit better but let's look at it from the front for now okay so this is going to determine the size of our legend uh, or uh, our, our basically the table for our legend now i'm going to go to detail lines you can either click here or use the shortcut dl i prefer shortcuts and then I'm just going to place one line like this. Now here you can play around with styles. Let's leave it all at thin lines and then later we can adjust. So let's place one line like this. Now create a new one, DL again. So let's do something like that. Okay, copy, copy to the other side. Then I'm going to go copy again copy it like this okay copy again let's leave I don't know like 150 here and then let's go by I don't know 50 okay so we have something that looks like this we're just creating that table so let's go like that copy this upward so this is just going to be where our text is going to be located at so I'm just going to drop these down and copy this once again so I can have the name of my legend. Now I'm just going to trim and extend here, just like that. Okay, so we have something that makes sense. I'm just going to move this view perhaps over here. There we go. Okay, and now I can go into text and I can use regular text. So just click here and let's call this one N O point. So this is just number, so number is going to be located over here. Now, of course, you can create a new text file, so I'm just going to uh, duplicate this one, go with uh, CG for Centric Gothic, because that's the text style I prefer. And then, can I find it? There we go, okay. Yeah, it looks a bit better. You can make it not gray. Actually, probably your text is not going to be gray, but uh, I prefer having a little bit of a gray text. Okay, so let's copy this. This is going to be name. Copy again. This is going to be floor plan. and copy again and this is going to be our elevation okay so once we have this in place now we can place our components so what i'm going to do is just copy this window so just go to co for copy and let's just copy it back here so once you place one component you don't really have to play around with that uh, because you can just copy everything so let's go here from elevation to plan and let's just have that window i don't know maybe we can align it like this also you can always add dimensions so i'm just going to add one dimension over here maybe like this and one over here for height. Okay, now I need a bit more room. There we go. And now we can copy this down. So I'm just going to select these two, copy, move them down. So this will be number one. And this is 3 PVC. In this case, this window has a bit of a weird name, but again, that depends on the name that you used. And here I like to align these. I'm just a bit OCD like that, so I'm just going to go with the detail line from here, just like that, select my text, and then just move it down with the, uh, with the arrow keys just a little bit. So it looks kind of like this. Also, let's do the name up here. So copy. And let's call this a window legend. 
Okay, so I played around a little bit with this uh, legend view and now we have, well, we've got four windows. Of course, you can add more. And just one trick that I wanted to show you is when you're copying this down, I suggest you copy both the actual uh, component, legend component and the dimension line. Uh, the reason for that is if I just select this, let me just remove this from selection. To remove from selection, just hold the shift key and to add to selection, hold the control key. But anyway, I'm just going to copy this down. So just like that. And now if you select uh, this thing and let's say you want to go with number eight and this here, number eight, as you can see the dimension line, it's going to adapt to the change to the window. So you don't have to redo the dimension line. You can just copy it. And then when you change the window, the dimension line will change as well. So that's just a quick little tip. Okay, anyway, so we've got our uh, window legend completed and now it's time to implement it in the project. So you can just place it on sheet as any other view. So let's see which sheet would work. Yeah, let's let's try to fit it here near the floor plans. So I don't know, let's remove one of the floor plans. So this one I'll remove. Can I remove this? Oh, I can go with no title. Okay. And let's place that over here. So let's go with our legend views. So here we go, legends. And now once we've created the view, you can open up the drop menu and here we go, legend view window legend. And you can just place it over here next to your floor plan. And it's going to go like this. Now you're going to notice that uh, when you have uh, here a title, so if I go with title line, it's going to say number one, and maybe on some other, on other ones of these, it's it has a number. But for our legend view, uh, let's go back. It doesn't really have a number. That's because the legend views can be copied from uh, view to view. Uh, they can be uh, used in multiple windows in Revit 2019 or, or newer. So if you're using Revit 2020, for example, you or, or yeah, in Revit 2020 or newer. So if you copy this legend view, you can actually use it in multiple ones. So that's quite, uh, quite cool. And here it says, of course, the scale. Anyway, so that's how you create legend views and how you implement them in your models. So that's pretty much it for uh, this quick tutorial on how to create legend views in Revit and how to use them in projects. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. If you want to download this Revit project file, as I said, link is in the description of uh, this video. You can go to my Patreon and get access to all of my uh, Revit project files. And also you can get access to some of my advanced courses. I've got, uh, I think like 12 courses, like advanced courses. And then I've started a, like a course where I take a building from like start to finish all the way to like construction from a basic sketch and uh, I'm uh, up to uh, number three. So I'm three hours in and I'm uploading a new hour each week. So that's something you might want to check out. Okay, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.